What's up guys and welcome to my video. This video is all about multiple graphics cards and SLI and Crossfire. So what is SLI and what is Crossfire? Well both of them are technologies that allow multiple graphics cards, so it could be two, could be three, could be four, and it combines their processing power to have essentially one really really good pool of graphics performance. And SLI is the technology that allows it from NVIDIA and AMD uses their own technology called Crossfire X. Now in theory both these technologies can get up to twice the performance by having two cards rather than just a single card but more often than not you'll get between maybe 1.6 to around if you're really lucky 1.9 times the performance so it is a tangible increase and depending on how much money you want to spend and how good your graphics look it's definitely something that you're going to want to consider when you're building a PC or when you're getting someone to build a PC for you. Now both SLI and Crossfire are pretty similar there's not really that much between them and one isn't necessarily better than the other. Now with SLI from Nvidia you need two cards that are more or less identical. If you have a GTX 680 then you need another GTX 680 and these two can go together in SLI. You couldn't put a 680 with a 780 and you couldn't put a 680 with a 670 they've got to be the same cards. But with AMD's Crossfire you could put a 7850 with a 7870 and that would work absolutely fine but realistically you want both cards to be exactly the same because you're going to lose performance by having a slightly weaker card because if you have a 7870 it will effectively down clock itself to the performance of a 7850 so you're effectively getting twice the performance of a 7850 rather than twice the performance of a 7870. So if you're looking at doing a multiple graphics card setup then you're going to want to get the same card. But when I say the same card and when I say identical they don't literally have to be identical from the same brands with the same cooler and you can use different branded cards in your configuration. Now both these technologies require a compatible motherboard. So when you're shopping for a motherboard do look at whether they support Crossfire and whether they support SLI because this could be very important in your decision. SLI boards tend to be a little bit more expensive for some reason, something to do with licensing, than Crossfire boards, but if you're looking at getting a half decent board, then they will probably support both technologies. And when I say that, I mean pretty much over about £100 or about $150, but do make sure you check because boards do vary. Now the last requirement is a power supply that can not only output the amount of power that you're going to need for two graphics cards and the rest of your system, but you're also going to need a power supply that has four PCIe connectors. There's no point having a power supply that could power it, but actually couldn't power it because you don't have the connectors. So do shop around and make sure you check your power supply supports it, and if not, you're going to have to get a new one, unfortunately, that does. As for the amount of power you're going to need, an 800 watt power supply is normally about the minimum you're going to want for a multiple graphics card setup. Um, if you get a thousand watts then you're probably pretty much good for everything. You can use a power supply calculator to work out how much power you're going to need but it's sensible to go a little bit overboard because everything in your system adds up and if you have a power shortage your computer is just going to cut out and you're going to have to go out and you're going to have to buy a new one. So make sure you check that you're going to be able to power your cards. Once you've got your compatible components the rest is very very simple. Simply open up your case and install the first graphics card if you haven't already. If you've got two different cards like I do, the best idea is to put the best cooling solution card at the top, as it's this card that normally gets a bit hotter. Then put the second card in the other slot, and then you need to get a SLI or Crossfire connector and plug that in on the tops of both cards. Now this comes with your motherboard if you've got an SLI compatible motherboard, and if you're using Crossfire, then this connector comes with the cards themselves. The last thing you need to do is, of course, plug in your cards to your power supply. Then you need to boot up your computer. Once you've booted up your computer, if you've moved some graphics cards around, then you are going to need to do a couple of restarts, nothing major. And then you need to go into your panel, be it the NVIDIA control panel if you've got an NVIDIA card, or the AMD Catalyst Center if you've got an AMD card. And then you need to enable SLI or Crossfire simply just by ticking a box and clicking apply. Then when you boot up a game you should notice significant improvements in your frame rate. If you don't then it's worth checking out your CPU usage. For example Crisis 3 is quite CPU heavy as well as GPU heavy so you might not see 
any gain at all and if you do it might be a very low gain because if your CPU maxes out then you're going to need to overclock or upgrade your CPU before you see any increase in frames per second. Now SLI and Crossfire based systems will have additional problems that you won't get just with a single GPU system. Now these problems are nearly always game specific so they'll only be specific to that one game but it does vary and performance will vary from game to game. And it's because of these problems, if you're going to buy a brand new GPU, go for the best one you can get rather than getting two slightly cheaper ones and putting them in SLI or Crossfire because the performance is a lot more stable with one single card. And of course you can always upgrade your system with another GPU later down the line. So that is my guide to SLI and Crossfire. I hope it's been useful and I hope that if you are looking at getting a system, you do give SLI and Crossfire a consideration because even if you don't plan on doing it straight away you might change your mind later and it's better to be better prepared now than to get there and be like you know what it's going to cost me way too much money because I'm not prepared and my system is not ready for another graphics card because I didn't buy the right stuff in the first place. So thank you for watching, why not subscribe for more videos like this more videos where I wave my hand around and all sorts of other good gaming videos. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.